Oh, it's making me crazy. It's faces. Hi. Greetings. Peace, y'all. Give me a second. Give me a second. Mm. Peace. Hey, baby. Hey. Mm, okay. Hey, queen. Touch a goddess. Peace, 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 peace. Okay. Okay. Reiki, abundant and carefree. All right. So I'm going to try to get through this list effortlessly tonight. <laughs> effortlessly. Um, I'm going to just go through real quick who all I got on the list. Um, we have Queen, New Yorkian, April, Abundant and Carefree, Shunny Loves, Shunny Loves, hopefully that's right, um, Shell, 78, um, Ash, Jasmine, Charlene, Goddess B, Shanika, Shanika, and hopefully, Summer, I got you on here again. I don't know if that was right. You have to let me know. I swear, I think I got you on here twice. But that's my list. All right? That's my list for tonight. <clears throat> that is my list for tonight. We are operating with a Virgo new moon. It's, it's the get your shit together moon. It's to get your shit together. Mm -mm. Anything that you are not organized or paying um, attention to the details in your life, this is the moon that is going to really stress um, and make you put emphasis on is this an alignment? Is this supposed to be what I'm supposed to be doing? All of that, okay? And then um, on top of that, um, um, if you are a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, it's probably going to affect you a lot more. A lot more. So just to get your shit together. <laughs> Moon. All right. So the first person I'm going to go ahead and do. I just want to see what this is. Interesting. All right. First person we're going to do is New Yorkian. Let's do you. And then I'll do April right after you. All right. Peace, everyone. See, I'm a tourist. You need this. Mandy, why you always? You so late. If I have enough room at the end, I'll throw you on the end. Okay, boo? Y'all, my solar plexus has been a fool today. I don't know what that's about. Let me get that together. That's the get your shit together energy. <laughs> Solar plexus has been a fool today. I'm not pulling this, but I do want to see what this is. Water, water, water. Water, 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 water. All right. New y'all. The first one that came up is on my earth. It means... Getting out of your comfort zone. It's coming in the past position. So specifically getting out of your comfort zone with things that are related to the past. Not holding on to old beliefs, old ideals, old ways, um, old traditions. This is a dynamic, beloved, that you're really supposed to make sure that you're navigating this particular part of your journey from a very um, risk-taking perspective. It is going to bring you new opportunities, new money, and new ideals and visions. Once you are holding on to that dynamic, you have, are in a space that you stay true to your, your path, okay? You already understand um, what it is that you're supposed to be doing because you are, you know, taking those risks. Now that you understand that, you stay in alignment with that. Don't veer from the course. Okay, we have the plan. It might be taking a little longer than you expected. It might take a little longer than you anticipated because you see he riding the turtle. All right, but it does that that don't have nothing to do with you. All right, you stay focused on the plan. 
you you stay the course you keep steady and you stay on alignment do not allow anything to pull you off of your path and your direction when these obstacles or little things that's trying to you know come up remember who you are you are the magician you are in control of every aspect and every dynamic of your life and because you are in control you already know that you're the master alchemist i'm able to co-create or you know make sure things is going the direction that i want it to go oh this shit popped up it's all right i'm about to turn that into what i need to it's the whole turning lemons into lemonade lemonade concept okay being in a space where you are saying i know exactly what i'm supposed to be doing even though this tried to come up and knock me off course boom i already know how to turn that into a blessing for me you try to make this a lesson but it's a blessing all right now if you are staying in that frequency guess what boom you realize like i'm able to always swing back into the light even though some stuff is coming for me all right that would normally make people feel like damn it's always raining over here no you always making it turn into the light you always making it be sunshine you always turn it into a fortunate situation. And once again, they want y'all to you to know that you're on the right path. You go in the right direction. You're doing what it is that you're supposed to be doing. But you got to remember consistently during the whole dynamic that it is about what? I am control. I am the master alchemist. I don't give a damn what come up. I'm the master alchemist. I control this shit. <laughs> All right. So... Peace, everyone, as you're coming in. Hi. Hi, beloved. All right. So let's see. Got a lot of shifting and shaking. So let's just pull one of my. That stick out. Same thing. Gracefully aging. <laughs> so that gracefully aging card is all about. It doesn't matter that it's not happening as quick as you want it to happen. It's going to happen in divine timing, divine order, with divine purpose. You don't have to worry about when it's happening. Don't look at everybody else and be like, damn, why they getting their shit before me? That don't matter. You are supposed to get yours when you're supposed to get it. Things are going to come into fruition exactly when it's supposed to because this is a part of your destiny. You might have a couple of extra tools and gifts and things that you got to pick up on along the way. So allow that to happen. They're taking you on this detour for a reason. It's what you do with the detour. You done went and took a little side street. Okay, well maybe you decided to set up another business on that side street. All right. All right, let's see. Ooh. Copper. I love this one. Y'all know I love me some copper. Are you available to receive a download of insight in your life? Are you open to create and embrace magical manifestations? Clear your channel to allow this wisdom to flow through you. Have confidence in your ability to tap into this universal knowledge, wisdom, and abundance. You are a conduit for miracles. Believe in yourself. So believe in your alchemy, believe in your power, believe in what it is that you're supposed to be doing. You already know what it is. Like you already know your destiny. Stop second guessing yourself. And stop getting caught up in the bullshit, the distraction. <laughs> All right, Ashe. All right, April, you're next, beloved. Am I doing readings tomorrow? No, I'm not. And I'm I like my readings are becoming shorter and shorter. I am getting to a space, beloved, that I am being a lot more mindful of my energy and my time. So y'all probably only gonna see me for these new moons, and I'm actually thinking about maybe even cutting that down to one group reading like this a month. And then only doing maybe about 10 personal readings a month. So, that's my goal. Something different. Alright, this is for April. 
April, you got a lot of cards trying to come out at me, baby. <laughs> so I'll probably, maybe, kind of, I don't know. I might not even be on here. I might have to find somebody for y'all for the full moon. I might be out of town for that. I'm going to pull both of these for you. All right. So the first card is walking in our power. Walking in our power. Okay. Mm, I see her. Walking in our power. So as we're walking in our power or remembering our power is what I would like to say. Peace, beloved. Um, as we're remembering our power and what we're supposed to be walking in and using, we have to know that we have to trust our intuitive self, our gut. All right. Trust our intuitive self and our gut. We in a space, beloved, that no, we ain't doing it. Not listening to what we naturally and intuitively feel. No, nope. not doing that no more. This is a time frame that you got to trust the cycle of the moon. You got to trust your intuition. You got to trust what your gut is telling you. Pay attention to your energy because karma is coming up. And that energy is saying, hey, you need to pay attention to how you thinking and how you are putting the energy out. Karma is always like, be mindful of what energy you manifesting because whatever energy you bringing up, you know you get that back. So you want to make sure you're operating in the right frequency. And if you are, this is going to liberate you because those two cards came out together. The freedom card is falling out. That freedom card is like, look, when you're operating and flowing and actually intuitively listening, this is when I always say walking in your divine self, walking in your higher self. When you walking in that energy, everything just flowing, everything, nothing. You ain't got to worry about nothing. You don't have to worry about not um getting exactly what it is that you want to get you don't have to worry about things not falling in alignment exactly when you need it it's going to naturally flow okay it's going to be very fluid for you i keep wanting i, I don't see them uh, i want to pull a goddess card for you hold on oh there they go I was like, I need a goddess card. <laughs> you say you're all about that frequency. Good. That's what's been happening. It's naturally happening. Good. Because that's a good spread. You just got to trust it. As soon as you feel it or you get that hunch or whatever it is that your, your alarm system is telling you, go with it. I always tell people, go with God. Go with God. <laughs> when you feel it, go with God. That's it. That's your answer. All right. Let's get a goddess card for you real quick. <clears throat> I saw what New, New York was like. She's spreading herself too thin. It's not even that. I always spread myself. Let's be clear. I've been spreading myself through, through, uh, too thin probably since I came out the womb. <laughs> I always got like 500 things that I'm doing in one day. Um, now I'm just in a space and you know, it, even... It, the universe is so amazing because it offers you confirmation um, right when you need it. So the way that I've already been thinking, um, Asaya came right in, broke down certain parts of my chart, and I'm sitting there like, I was already thinking, man. I was thinking that was supposed to be my life. <laughs> and then on top of that, talk, talking to um, Dr. Latham the other night, and he was like, you know, I normally don't even do lives no more. And I'm not really focused on, you know, doing certain dynamics. I'm just focused on living and being. I ain't trying to save nobody's life. I'm out here just trying to focus on saving my life. Just being, living organically what I need to, you know, how I need to live. And I was like, oh, that sounds real good. <laughs> it sounds like what I was thinking. <laughs> Oh, and then I say divine feminine. So all my babies that's in my class, even though this 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 card don't look like ISIS, but we ain't gonna we ain't gonna fault them for that. Look what card comes up. ISIS, the rebirth. Okay, 
So everything that I just told you, April, about walking in your power, trusting your gut, actually paying attention to the frequency you're operating in so it can liberate you, so it can create this fluidity, is everything that I've been talking about in my class. And boom, the main goddess that I've been, you know, utilizing for this particular workshop, I consider it as Isis or Aset. And that's who pops up for you. The rebirth. So understanding that you are able, <laughs> and look at the bottom of the deck, liberation, Kali, that's standing in your path. That's a crazy combination right there. Isis and Kali, <gasps> Them, they two are my favorites. <laughs> they two are my favorites. Listen, so Isis coming through. And then Kylie, like, look, if you don't stand, you got to stand in your power and almost be rocking with that double edge. Like, I will take your MF head if you come in and violating my peace and what it is that I represent. All right. All right. So let me get this crystal. See, it'd be stuff like this. And then I get off track. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me stay. Let me stay focused. <laughs> no more sidebar visits. All right. Bismuth is the crystal. And it says, are you in touch with your creative intelligence? That's the divine feminine. I'm just saying. Are you willing to look at life with a fresh perspective? Use the symbols of geometry to help create pathways for developing the mental body. Take one step at a time, knowing that the answers will be revealed to you as you systematically work. Okay. Bismuth. And I always feel like I'm saying this. I don't know if you're taking Reiki, um, April, but I would highly suggest that you either take comedic Reiki or um, even like Reiki because I think that that's going to show you some um, of what it is that I connect with this. All right. Does that make sense? All right. I'm there. I'm there. All right, Ashe, let's go to Queen. Queen, are you on here? And then my next one is Abundant and Carefree. I know you on here. Peace, beloved. You've been wanting to. You need to take it. That's your, that's your confirmation, boo. That's your confirmation. I need you to take that. All right. All right. Um... Abundant and carefree or queen. Okay, there you go. Queen, let's go. Ashe. Let's see what's this. I can see that. All right, you already have realized your plan. Okay. You've already realized your plan. And now that you've realized your plan, you got to stay focused on that destination. You're going to ride this out. You're going to be patient. We ain't paying attention to, oh, why she seemed like she elevating before me? Or why she seemed like she caught on to that quicker than... Nope. Nope. Your destiny and your path is yours. So you got to be still. Okay? You got to be still and you got to be... Focus on the plan. Understand that this is a time frame that you're going to really, really have to emphasize your boundaries and your terms and conditions. We cannot be in a space, beloved, that you still be a real nice. That's the only word I could think of. You can't be real nice right now. This ain't about being nice. This is about these are my terms and conditions. This is my boundaries. You overstep this. We're going to have a problem. All right. Because now it's a space that you really have to be focused and intentional on executing what it is that you're striving to execute. But they got patience in here twice. So we starting out with patience and then boom, Ace of Wind come up and that's patience again. It's like trust that the universe is taking you through all of these trials and tribulations for a reason. They're taking you through the test for a reason. And because they're taking you through the test and they got their foot on your neck, you need to be in the mindset of, hey, this is happening for a reason. It's pushing me to my greatest self. So I have to trust 
the universe. I have to trust the universe, my spirits, my ancestors, my angels, that they are preparing exactly what it is that I asked for. So whatever it is that you've already put the intention out for with the last new moon, <laughs> know that they are working on it. It might not be coming into fruition as quick as you want it. So a lot of y'all are, are operating with patience. It might not be happening as quick as you want it to, but it's going to happen. All right. It's going to happen. Got to be patient. All right. Let's see. Well, I just want to pull a challenge card for you besides patience. <laughs> What did I just say? I said, I want to pull a challenge card for you besides patience. Look what card came up, y'all. Patience. They don't care. They said, no, it ain't no other challenge. Your challenge is your ass need to be patient. You need to be mindful and <laughs> um, just work the plan, boo. Just work the plan. Allow them to do their magic for you and be patient. <laughs> No touch of goddess. You did not miss yours. I just got on here. I just got on here. So it's not your turn yet. You are closer to the end. Everybody had already did theirs before you, beloved. <laughs> All right. So your crystal card is Jasper. Um, it says, have you been seeking balance in your life? Are you finding inner, inner peace for your body, your mind, and your soul? Take the time to meditate and focus on the center of your consciousness. Open to the realization that there is an underlying unity in all spiritual philosophies. Be patient. All right. Be patient. Be real still. Meditate. Connect the breath. Make sure you get real centered. Um, being centered is going to allow you that um, that patience, <laughs> that stillness that you need to have in order to allow the flow to just happen. All right. That's sometimes the biggest thing. If we can center ourselves and just kind of really get into a stillness, you will naturally just feel Everything is happening exactly when it's supposed to happen. Don't rush it. Don't force it. Okay. Don't rush it or don't force it. All right. Abundant and carefree. Let's go. Yeah. Be patient. <laughs> They're like, no, she don't get no other damn card. I said be patient. I was like, okay. Y'all well, being a little pushy. A little aggressive today. <laughs> I say. This is for abundant and carefree. All right. So you've been known to be the, the old wise soul. But this is a time, beloved, that you want to consult with your ancestors and your spirit guides. Okay. I love you too, baby. Um, I need you to make sure that anything that you're doing and how you're moving at this moment in time that you consult with the elders, you consult with specifically your ancestors. All right. Um, if you're doing that and, and being diligent in that, you're going to see how they're opening up new opportunities, opportunities you weren't even thinking about. It wasn't even on your radar. Stuff is going to come and just knock on your door and be like, hey, I'm here. But you got to be mindful of the distractions because some of them not set the door you don't want to answer them okay they're distractions specifically coming from ex relationships okay it'll be people that's just trying to pop back up in your life at this moment in time we not no we ain't got no vacancies we we not taking no visitors right now all right tell them that you are practicing social distancing literally all right so this is a time frame that you really want to be um intentional with your energy and making sure that you're staying in prayer is what I keep hearing. So I want you to kind of make sure that you're staying in prayer, really having a great conversation with your ancestors, um, even telling them, because gratitude is the outcome, even telling them thank you for the things that you have not seen. I'm telling you, you get ready to have a bunch of stuff that happens and that starts to come to you 
that you wasn't even on your radar. You might have been thinking about this is what you want, but they're getting ready to bless your whole soul. If it's not a confident for sure yes, all right? If it's not a confident for sure yes, you need to make sure you're being still. Do not allow um, anybody to make a, a decision for you. Make sure all your decisions are coming from your gut. Like they're coming from you. This is what you definitely want to do. If you cannot make a definite yes, then you need to wait and allow the universe to show you exactly which way you're going. Ooh. Yeah, two cards coming out. So you got Mukite, Jasper, and Magnesiite. Okay, so it says, are you a believer in miracles? Are you ready to access the known and the unknown? Open your heart to experience grace. Offer blessings to everyone whom you interact with. Be a divine assistant and provide regenerative energy and holiness to not only yourself, but to others. This is a time that you are the miracle worker. You are, you know, the one that's supposed to not only create miracle manifestations within your own life, but also within others. Um, and <laughs> magnesia is the same thing. Are you able to integrate the heaven and the earth into your current life experience? Are you grounded and aware of your divine connection? Now is the time to absorb the blessings of being human while still embracing your union with the divine. You are a child of the universe and are aligned with the spiritual realm. So that means like I have the, the ability to be a magical manifestation. Okay. You got this, beloved. You got it, Ashe. Ashe. Yeah. I, I'm going to just say it. So, um, abundant and carefree. Make sure that with this particular new moon, whatever it is that you do, that you speak it. Okay? This is where I want you to use your, your alchemy from spells, per se. All right. So whatever incantation that you you write out, I want you to speak what you want to see come into your life. This is going to be your power during this particular season, able to be um, to speak exactly what you need into existence. So make sure that you're focused um, from projecting from the throat chakra. So even if it's people that's in your life that you need to um, necessarily move out of the way or protect your actual physical space. This is a time that I need you to use your voice. Don't use nothing else. All right. This is not about, you know, the spiritual bath and all that shit is cute. But for you, it's going to be speaking. So speaking the things that you need to happen. All right. I'll say. Um, my next one is Goddess B. I'm going to go ahead and do God. I think that's Goddess B. I want to say this. Goddess. I can't remember what your name was, baby. I'm sorry. Touch of Goddess, maybe. That might have been. What was your name on Cash App? I got Ash. I got Shell78. Y'all got to let me know who on here so I won't. Um, I got Shunny. Shunny. Loves. I don't know who that is. Jasmine. Charlene. I think I saw you. Okay, Touch of Goddess. Yeah. All right, so let's do Touch of Goddess. <clears throat> Then I need to drink me some water. Ooh. Visualization. So shell 78 a second. All right, boo. All right. Touch a goddess. You probably been feeling like you need to escape. You need a vacation or you just need to get away. This is a time frame that you need to use your ability to imagine, your ability to visualize, okay? I need you to really tap into your divine feminine self right now, all right? You walking around with the name of goddess, so you need to really exercise what that energy really means. So we're going to use the power of how we think, how we imagine, and how we see things. And what you see and visualize is the life that you want to create. So during this new moon, you definitely need to be in a space that you're visualizing exactly what it is that you want, what type of life you want to create, what type of dynamics you need to open up. When you start doing that, you're going to create your own freedom. This is not just an ordinary freedom. This is going to be the freedom that you want for the rest of your life. 
All right. And because this is the freedom that you want for the rest of your life, it's going to change the trajectory. Now, this is where you're going to have to be mindful. Know that you are strong enough because when we ask the universe to open up these channels and open up these gateways and create opportunities for us, they are going to remove some shit that you might be a little attached to. All right. They're going to remove some things that you sitting there holding on to. And they like, nah, let that shit go. You asked me to give you something, but you don't want to oh, let go of that old raggedy teddy bear. Let it go. It is not serving you anymore. So in order for us to get to this newfound freedom, this life that we have created and visualized for ourselves, it means that we have to step into our power. Everything that you have experienced and everything that you've been through has cultivated you and made you ready for your path, your purpose. So now that you're on track and you're walking the path and you're, you're actualizing this lifestyle that you want for yourself, be prepared. They're going to shake some shit up. They're going to remove some people. They're going to remove some things. Because it's not in alignment with your destiny. It's not in alignment with your purpose, okay? Be okay with that. <laughs> Be okay with that. Mm. Oh, Shay. That's my boo. And you get Oshun. Y'all pulling out a good... All my goddesses have came out today. Every card that I have pulled from the goddess deck has came out that I am absolutely in love with. I got each one of their energies in this room. So it's funny as hell to me that they coming out and all the way through today. So Oshun, generosity. Knowing that, you know, Mama Oshun gonna come through and bless you, bless you. <laughs> You already know what her energy you're all about. I say. That just made my whole heart smash. <laughs> my whole heart. All right. So, Mukite Jasper, once again, it says, are you an, a believer of miracles? Are you ready to access the known and the unknown? Open your heart to experience this grace. Offer blessings to everyone whom you interact with and be a divine assistant and provide regenerative energy and holiness to yourself and others. So walk in your energy, walk in your power, walk in all the dynamics that actually are connected to you, beloved. All right. This is definitely a time for y'all to stand. Stand in your shit. <laughs> stand in it. Damn it. <laughs> Ashe. All right. There goes Shani. We've been looking for you, boo. No, I called your name, though. You ain't missed it yet. All right, so my next one is Shell 78. All right, Shell 78. Shell coming out with them heavy hitters. <laughs> I don't know. This must have been this, y'all. I wasn't even gonna do Tuesday, but it must have been divine for y'all all to be on this particular live at this particular time. Because when I tell you the power that's coming through for this particular reading, Mama Oshun then dropped out again in a whole nother form. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. All right, so <laughs> Shell, the first two cards that come out is boom, the crossroads. And the shaman card. So the crossroads and the shaman card is like, look, we are making the choice and the decision to walk and operate in who we are from our higher self. You already know who you manifest, what energy you came through with. And because you coming through with that energy, because you know that it's time to you know, really dig in and tap into your spiritual self, your spiritual energy, what it is that you're supposed to be doing in this particular part of your life. It's no time to be on no crossroads. We ain't sitting here thinking like, oh, I still want to let, you know, my old self, the ego have control. Nope, nope, nope. They like higher self is in charge right now. We ain't doing ego shit. We only doing higher self. So because this energy is here, it is no, it, there's only one choice. 
there's only one decision. And now that we're walking in our higher self, you know that you are on your divine path. You have to know it though. You need to have confirmation and this is it. You are on the right path, but you cannot get distracted by any other obstacles. When these things are coming up, you need to know that they are intentional. They are happening in divine order. They are coming with a divine purpose. And it's going to help cultivate what it is that you need in this particular season. And because that is happening, you're going to have all this newness come in. There's a rebirth. There's a whole nother dynamic. This is Mama Oshun in this card. Okay? You got new money, new love, new relationships, new everything coming in. Everything is being renewed or it's coming in new. All right. So it, there's no second guessing who or what you're supposed to be doing. It's no second guessing that. You know who you are. You know what energy you represent. So you got to walk in it. That's the only choice they're giving. That they really ain't giving you no choice, really, honestly. They like, look, you really don't get a choice. This is what it is. <laughs> Blue tiger's eye. It says, are you looking at something from only one angle? Do you need to rise above the situation to see it with greater clarity? It is time to take steps to gain a new perspective on your life. Trust your ability to see things and read situations clearly. Your inner visions and dreams are helpful tools for your own self-knowledge. Using your own intuition your own power your ability to see things from a whole nother perspective is going to help you navigate this particular season of your life beloved it's going to give you a whole nother sense of freedom you're another one that need to be using visualization um imagination um creating the life in your in your third hour in your head or what it is that you want to see so for you during this new moon really visualizing going through the motions if it's buying a new house see yourself buying a new house turning the key in the lock and what your house feel like okay if it's buying a new car boom what does that look like if it's you know going out of the country what does that feel and look like where are you going put the pictures up in your room all right mm, i say definitely visualization a little bit of spell alchemy too all right a little bit of spell alchemy all right so let's do charlene vision boards action that that's it right there do some vision boards you need to visually see everything you need to be created like with from your creativity all right this is for charlene I say that was the the power crew. All right. So the victim card is coming up first. It's like, boo, this is a time frame that you are no longer a victim of your past. You are no longer a victim of your circumstances. Patterns and cycles are starting to break. And because these patterns and, and cycles are starting to break, you are truly starting to actualize it and 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 ascend in your higher self and as you're ascending in your higher self that means that our perspective has to change you have to be in the space that you're more focused on the light than the darkness you're more focused on what you can create compared to what you've already been through a lot of times people get stuck in this particular journey because when we're doing this healing work we're so focused on what has happened all the pain all the trauma what we had to survive through Instead of looking at it like that was really a blessing. It wasn't this horrible situation and traumatic situation. No, it happened to create who we are and how we're able to stand in all our greatness and magnificence now. And because of that, you are truly able to be the master alchemist that you are turning into. You are the magician. So you understand that any cards that somebody give you, you get ready to play the best hand that you got. You able to turn everything into gold. So you got to be in that space that my perspective has shifted. I'm letting go of the cycles and the patterns that I've created in my past so I can fully walk in my, my magician 
self. I am no longer the fool. My perspective is different. And it's going to create where new opportunities, new options, new dynamics, new everything. Everything that's coming in and this stuff that you ain't even know that you want it. Now, all of a sudden, you you look at that shit that you ain't even know you want. I ain't even know I wanted, you know, a new house. I ain't even know. I ain't even know that I thought I wanted to create a whole new life for myself. But you do. And they're going to start giving it and blessing it to you because they said this is what you deserve. You truly deserve this. The beautiful thing about shifting your perspective and going through these transformations is the fact that things that we subconsciously told ourselves that we didn't deserve start to come into fruition. All of a sudden, you get blessed with X, Y, and Z. And you didn't even know that's what you wanted. But you do. And you're truly deserving of it. I say. Ooh, my baby coming out. Labradite. Okay. So, you got like three cards that came out. But I'm going to just do this one. It says, do you feel... Do you often feel inspired to write? Are you a channel for divine messages? Take the time to clear your consciousness to discern what is the truth. Set your intentions to gain this clarity and allow inspiration to flow through you. Trust that the information and the wisdom that you will transcribe will help not only you, but those around you. Beloved, during this new moon, I definitely would suggest meditating. See what naturally is rising up in you and write it out. Okay, write it out. Make sure you're being in a space that whatever your truth is, even if it's you speaking it into like an audio recorder, whatever that truth and whatever that insight is, make sure you're documenting specifically in these next two weeks. Okay, in these next two weeks, I think you're going to see something happen that's magical. I say this will be a great time for you to even write your intentions for yourself. What is it that you want to see come into fruition? We've just been doing this in the class, but what is it that you want to see come into fruition? What is it that you need to manifest for yourself? All right. It's shot of honey on here. I know I'm supposed to be doing one for her baby. I could have swore something she had somebody. I'm supposed to be doing something for somebody else. <clears throat> Dang it. Dang it. Forgot. I forgot to write them down on this list. All right. Whew. All right. That was it, Charlene. All right, so my next one is Shani. Okay, Shani. Ready? Yours is froze. Oh, no. Yours is froze. Oh. Okay. After Shani, I got, um, you need to be doing something with your, your career, Shani. Whatever it is that you do from a passion or creative space, um, you need to do that. Um, after Shani, it will be, I have Ash, Jasmine, and Shanika. Ash, Jasmine, and Shanika. Let me see what we're looking like on time. Okay. Okay. This is the power of the third eye. <laughs> Power of the third eye. That's what I'm going to call y'all. All right, Shani. Mm. All right, so you are another one, beloved, that you want to make sure that you are paying attention. How are you visualizing and actualizing what you want to come into your life? You definitely need to be in a space that you're using your imagination to create um, whatever dynamics that you're trying to create. You have to get in a space. These things that are starting to trigger you and that have been triggering you. We got to create a resolution, beloved. You need to see yourself. Um, mm, whatever the dynamics that's happening, you need to see them going a different direction. So if somebody getting on your nerves, you need to see yourself having a beautiful um, 
healing conversation with them. If somebody is triggering you, you need to see that situation being handled in a totally different way. This is a great time for you to journal exactly what story you want to create. So if this is a con like a connection between parents or a connection between your children or whoever that dynamic is, whatever the situation is that's creating um, conflict or chaos or confusion in your life right now, you need to see yourself writing it out totally different. You need to see yourself actually being in a different space. This is not a time that you want to buy into the chaos and confusion. This is not a time that you want to buy into or get comfortable with this dynamic. Understand that this is happening so it can um, pull this, this ability out of you. You have the ability to see it and transform it from a different perspective, but you actually got to do it. You actually got to do it. All right, so let's see what your challenge cards is. Because that, that, that's some interesting stuff happening. You need to make sure you're listening to yourself too. You second guess it yourself. You got the, the answer. Mm. Okay, so grief work is coming up, beloved. So I need you to take some time and figure out what is it that you're still holding on to? What is it that you're grieving? What are you um, looking at that um, maybe it's not coming in the way that you want it? Maybe those dynamics, um, something has left your life. Whatever it is that you're grieving over, you need to pay attention to why are you grieving. Anything that has left or anything that didn't come into fruition the way that you probably wanted to come fruition, it wasn't meant for you, okay? It wasn't meant for you. When you start to understand that, your other card was growth. When you start to understand that, you'll be able to truly ascend past the space that you are in at this moment in time. There's a, a, a spirit of um, being stuck. Um, around you right now like you're trapped or you are not being able to actualize what you're trying to actualize in real time all right this is a time that you definitely want to pay attention to what is stagnant around you oh my baby amethyst all right so the amethyst card is coming up and it says are you ready to transform your reality into one of joy health and prosperity Allow this violet flame to elevate your consciousness and open to self-transformation, Asha. Strive for personal excellence to be the best that you can be. Choose your words carefully to communicate your thoughts to others without fault or blame. So, like I said, being in a space that you're not like just getting caught in this trigger emotional space with whoever or whatever dynamic that's coming up. You want to be in a space that you are looking at this from a compassionate energy that this is not happening the way that you think that it's at. like it's not it's triggering you for a reason and it's triggering you so you can actually execute resolution okay resolve not to respond not to react but to resolve i say all right Jenny. that's yours that's yours all right i didn't see nobody ash didn't pop on jasmine I got Ash, Jasmine, Shanika, and I'm assuming Summer wanted another one. I don't know. So I'm going to just go ahead and go through. This is for Ash. Let me see what we're looking like. I might, yeah, I might be able to get two. This is for Ash. You're welcome, beloved. Okay, there you go. Ash, the first card that comes up is Baba Water. And Baba Water is always about, hey, I am here to um, let you know that things are okay. So you need to stop worrying about family. Okay, so anything that you're, especially within the past, if you've been worried about how are you going to take care of things or how your family is going to weather through whatever dynamic this is, stop worrying about that. Your guardians and your spirit guides and your angels is like, look, we squatted up. We around you. We making sure that ain't nothing getting ready. You divinely covered and protected at this moment in time. And because you're divinely covered and protected, whatever it is that you want to walk into specifically that is connected to your passion. What you're supposed to be doing, your career, your entrepreneur ideals, these endeavors that you've been sitting on, these dreams and these visions, this is the time. 
Like, don't second guess whether or not this is that this is going to provide the foundation and, and the dynamics that you need, not only for yourself, but the people that are an extension of you. It is definitely in alignment. It is definitely what you're supposed to be doing. I'm looking for God's cards. Um, don't worry. You don't need to worry. You are divinely covered and protected in everything that it is that you do. You're divinely covered. You have no need to worry or feel any type of stress or anything. Everything it is that you need is going to be provided for 10 times. <laughs> okay, so I need you to inbox me because I want to break these cards down a little bit more in detail. But you got wise leadership and healing is coming up. All right. Wise leadership and healing is coming up in your goddess cards. So understanding who you are and what you're supposed to be doing. Understanding who you are and what you're supposed to be doing is very important in this particular season. All right, let's get your crystal card. You another one that's bismuth. That divine feminine energy. It says, are you in touch with your creative intelligence? Are you willing to look at life with a fresh perspective? Use the symbols of geometry. And I'm going to keep putting em emphasis on that. To help you create pathways for developing the mental body. Take one step at a time knowing that answers will be revealed to you as soon as you work systematically and methodically. This is a time... That you are supposed, yes, gash for gold, this is yours. Um, this is a time that you are supposed to really tap in to who you are from this. Whew, okay. This is a time. This is the time that you're really supposed to operate in that power. Who you are, what it is that you're supposed to be doing, your divine purpose and your divine power. This is a time... You another one that I'm like, if you ain't on that comedic Reiki or like Reiki so you can understand the sigils and symbols and how to utilize the sacred geometry to actually manifest what you're supposed to manifest to protect, to heal, to create um, dynamics and, and, and um, amazing opportunities in your life. All right. This is the time. You starting to transform. Ashe. Yes, that's for you, beloved. <laughs> All right, so the next one is for Jazz. And then Neek. Yes, I was just asking about you. I was like, what is, I could have swore. <laughs> um, It can be done virtually. I'm going to just send you um a breakdown of those two cards. I'm going to send it to you, but just inbox me so I remember to send you the breakdown of those two cards. All right, Neek. Right after Jasmine. Hopefully, I got enough time. All right. All right. Neek, you got cards just jumping out at me. All right, Neek. You got, you must supposed to come. All right, so the first card is the Shaman card. Are you Connecting spiritually to what you're supposed to connect to. Are you tapping in and using all your resources and all your powers and all your abilities that you're supposed to? Is this a time frame that you might even need to uh, link with one of your mentors or link with somebody who can help guide this particular path? This is a time, beloved, that you're supposed to be um, really connected to who you are from the shaman perspective. All right. This is not for uh, Nick. This is for Jasmine. Okay, I just want to make sure I, I, I clarify. This is for Jasmine. All right, so the shaman energy of who you are, this is a time that you want to really lock in. Pay attention to what your energy is. There's a lot of frequency cards that's popping up for you, okay? This ain't for you, Nick. I'm sorry. I probably, I, I was saying your name, but I was, it's Jasmine. All right, there's a current, this is a time that you want to pay attention to your energy. How is your frequency? What is it that you're thinking? What type of balance are you creating for yourself? These dynamics are really, really important in this particular time in your life. Okay, your angels, ancestors, spirit guides, your squad, 
<laughs> they are here and they are waiting for you to ask for guidance. So, Jasmine, this is a time that you need to really be asking for guidance. You need to really be making sure that you're calling upon your ancestors, your spirit guides, the people that divinely guide you throughout this path. So they can help you connect more to your frequency, specifically to your love frequency, to your self-love. Anytime I get this card, it's a, it's a need for you to um, get more into your self-care. It's a need for you to make sure that every move that you make is a reflection of your own self-love. Y'all know that's my favorite thing to say. Everything that you do at this point need to be a reflection of your own self-love. If it's not a reflection of your own self-love, then it's not an alignment. Period. Period. There ain't no second guessing that. Hmm. So spiritual growth, I'm telling you. So whatever mentor you need to link with, whatever spiritual advisor you need to link with, Whatever you need to even do for yourself, if you know that this is a time that you ain't been meditating on a regular basis, you ain't been doing, you know, your libations on a regular basis, you ain't been connecting from a spiritual space as regular and as frequently as you need to, this is the time to lock in. Because normally when I get these particular cards, it's telling me that either you're coming out of some transitional shit or you get ready to go through some transformative. Okay, so... Anything that's happening right now, you need to like pretty much armor up. Okay, this is going to be a time to armor up. You need to be in a space that you really are paying attention to what they're trying to show you at this moment in time, beloved. And this will be a time where all of a sudden, this book that, you know, you weren't even thinking about reading come up. Or these articles just pop up. Be like, oh, I've always been interested in that. Yeah, they they sending you that for a reason. Copper, everything is spiritual for you right now, beloved. Um, are you available to receive the downloads and insight of your life? Are you open to create and embrace magical manifestation? Clear your channel to allow this wisdom to flow through you. Have confidence in your ability to tap into this universal knowledge, wisdom, and abundance. You are a conduit for miracles. You just need to believe in yourself. Listen, there is a spiritual alignment that is happening in your life at this moment in time, but you have to truly operate and work in your power. Walk in your shit. <laughs> All right, let me get you in, Neek, real quick. Hopefully, it don't cut me off. Hopefully, it don't cut me off. This is for Neek. Neek. <laughs> Oh, Y'all in these. Okay, wait a minute. Neek, take one deep breath for me, baby. All right, guardian card. New, ooh, okay. All right, Neek. You trying to make me work for this one. All right, so... You're welcome, beloved. Okay, the guardian card is coming up for you, Neek. And the guardian card is like, hey, we are here to help you guide and navigate this particular um, space of your life. It might feel like you are on your own. And even though it feels like you're traveling this particular part of your life by yourself, you're never alone. We are here with you. Everything that's happening is for a reason. Okay, so now you got to understand there's going to be some restructuring of your foundation. And as this restructuring is happening, this foundation that is being built is going to be stronger and better. So in order for our foundation to be stronger and better, guess what? The old one got to go. Everything that you've been kind of basing or predicting your future off of, that shit got to go. It ain't in, all, it ain't in alignment. It's not in alignment. So you got to restructure what this foundation is going to be. And when you restructure and re-solidify this new foundation, not only is it going to be beneficial for you, it's going to be beneficial for the generations to come. All right. But this is the key part, beloved. And I'm going to pull both of these all at the same time. If you do not let go of whatever is toxic, whatever is negative, whatever is no longer serving you, 
like truly let go, do some cord cutting, do some cleansing, get the sage out, get the Florida water. You need to do the whole nine, spiritual baths, all of that. If you don't let this shit go, they're going to do some trickery with you. Okay, so there, the universe is almost in this space where it's offering you an opportunity. It's seeming like, it's like, oh, we're here to give you the blessings and, and the fruition of your life right now. But guess what? This is a double-edged sword right here. All right? If you are not clearly thinking from your higher self, if you are not seeing this from a very clear and genuine place, it is going to come back and bite you in your ass. So you need to make sure that whatever it is that you're asking the universe to do, that you're doing it from a very in genuine space, from your integrity, and from a space that is very clear. All right? When you are making your choices and decisions from that, then you can open up the gateway to Baba Earth. And Baba Earth is all about anything that you need on this physical realm. I got you. Okay? Anything that you need on this physical realm any earthly value that you need, I got you. But you got to do it from a space that you let go of anything that's holding you bondage. Do the work. You got to make sure that whatever you're holding on to or that's holding on to you, that you let that shit go. Wow. Hopefully I'm real clear with that. And I tell people that's all the toxic stuff. This ain't a time frame that y'all could be straddling the fence and be like, oh, you know... I'm walking in my goddess energy, but I know I'm about to hurt a whole bunch of people's feelings, but I'm still smoking weed. No, no, that ain't how that work, boo. I ain't even going to get into the dynamics of that because we ain't even got time. But you can't be one foot in, one foot out. It don't work like that. You can't be like, you can't expect for the universe to open up and do all of this amazing shit that you wanted to do. And you still dealing with fuckery. I'm just saying. Petrified wood is your crystal card. It says, are you ready to uncover the knowledge and wisdom buried within inside of you? Are you willing to do? Are you willing to use these gifts to empower who you are? Messages and dreams brought to you by the angels offer much of what you need. Use this experience that you have gained over many lifetimes as the foundation of for a successful and happy life. Now, I'm telling you, once you break down all of these condition ideals and perspectives and all this bullshit that you done accumulated over the years and really go back to who you are, what it is that you're supposed to re be remembering of yourself, rediscovering of yourself, all of a sudden, a whole new world comes into fruition. A whole new world. All right? Because now you're able to pull on the 10,000 sisters that stand behind you. That 10,000 energy that stand behind you. The ancestors' shoulders that you're standing on. I'm just saying. Ashe. All right. It ain't cut me off yet. I know I ain't going to have time to get this one. I'm going to try, though. The last person was Shanika. Shanika, Ashe. How do I get on the list? Normally, you make a donation via cash app <clears throat> and that's how y'all get on the list normally that's what you do i don't know if it's gonna cut me off but i'm gonna try to get shanika in okay all right you are a survivor shanika everything that you've been through has prepared you for this next particular part of your um life all right you got all survivor energy everything that you have been through has actually prepared you for this next part of your life it says shanika chanika i don't know i'm doing might be doing that wrong all right you are a survivor you are the phoenix that is rising and when the phoenix is rising you need to look at what the rebirth was this is a resurrection for you because of everything that's happened it pushed you to your resurrection all right it pushed you to your resurrection you are a survivor it pushed you to your resurrection. And if it pushed you to your resurrection, now you are able to cultivate something brand new. All right. You're able to cultivate something brand new. So this is a whole new foundation. And as this foundation is being rebuilt, rediscovered, the only person you need to listen to is you. Don't listen to nobody else. 
Don't even entertain nobody else's voice. You have the power and the capability to not only affect you, but the rest of the community. The things that you are doing, the healing that work that you will be getting into is not only directly connected to you and your family, but it's connected to the generations and the people and the community that's outside of that. So this is a power that you're walking in and you don't need to second guess that, beloved. This is about confidence. Confidently know that everything that you have built to this point was for a purpose and a reason. Be confident in it. Are you able to integrate heaven and earth into your current life experience? Are you grounded and aware of your own divine connection? Now is the time to absorb the blessings of being human while still embracing your union with the divine. You are a child of the universe and are aligned with the spiritual realm. You are calling this energy to move through you. All right. To move through you. So as you're calling the universe to move through you, understand what that power really represents for you. This ain't just about you and your immediate family. This shit is damn community oriented. You doing shit that's more than for you. It's for you and the people that are extensions of you. It creates a domino effect, a ripple effect in your life. All right. Ashe. Look at there. I almost I almost got everybody in, I think. Only person I was missing this summer. If you did um do one through my website, beloveds, um make sure that you have scheduled an appointment. Um, I typically do website readings on Thursdays. All right. Um, I typically do, uh, individual readings on Thursdays. I say, I see Christy Lou says she did one, um, all of that. No, no more. That's it for me. That's all I got on my list. Only person I had was Summer. Okay. If you missed it, y'all got to catch it as soon as I put the flyer up. As soon as I put the flyer up. Okay. You got to do it. Deshaun, what is your name? What's your name, beloved? Uh, did you do a cash app? Did y'all do some cash apps while I was sitting here? You know y'all good for doing that. Oh, yeah. Who's food and entertainment? I don't even know who that is. Food and entertainment. Deshaun, is that you? Somebody from food and entertainment. That's what it looked like. Deshaun Pitt. I didn't see that name, beloved. I didn't see that name. It ain't cut me off yet, so I'm going to go ahead and pull some more cards real quick. Did they extend the time? Normally, it'd be like, oh, your time is up. Food and entertainment, that is you? Okay. Y'all got to stop doing stuff at the last minute. The magician. It's time to celebrate. Okay, so you got the Ace of Water card, and it says... It's time. It's a time for celebration. This is for you, Deshaun. Um, this is a time for celebration. It's a time for um, you to pay attention. Also, make sure that you're not over pouring into other people and not pouring into yourself. Also, pay attention that these dynamics that are coming up, you are the magician. You are in complete control. You are in complete control. And because you are in complete control, that means that you have the power to transform any situation in your life. You got the power to do that. So now it's going to cause you to actually make some choices and decisions. These choices and decisions need to come from the guidance of your ancestors and your spirit guides. If you are not consulting them before you make the choices and decisions, you're going to go wrong. You're going to go to the left. We don't want to go to the left, okay? But specifically, you are an overgiver, beloved. Quit giving so much of yourself to everyone else and you're not giving enough to yourself. Like you, you are an overgiver. You got to be in a space that you are understanding that some of the gifts and the blessings that the universe is providing you, I say, um, it's for you. It ain't for you to share. You are, you are self, You need to be in a selfish space right now, beloved. Okay, Amatrine is your crystal card. It says, do you want to make changes, but the inner voices keep telling you that you can't? Are you convincing yourself that you are blocked or stuck? You have the ability to overcome all obstacles. 
It is time to take action and be determined to make the necessary changes that will transform your life. All right, transform your life. You want specific questions, you need to book an actual reading, Deshaun. Um, if you want to ask a specific question, you need to book an actual reading. That might be that choices and decision. You might be being an overgiver to your woman. And you need to make a choice or a decision on whether or not you should be doing that. Is that energy being reciprocated? <laughs> Is it being reciprocated? I'm just saying. All right. I'm just saying. Otherwise, you need to book. If you want to ask a specific question, you need to uh <laughs> you need to book a session. All right, this is for Mandy. Since it ain't cut me off yet, which is very odd. Any other time it'd be counting me down. All right, Mandy. All right, whatever you just let go. So something in your past, you have actually taken the time to let go, but there's still some residue of needed, it needing to be cut off. It needing to be like, you need to cut the cord. You need to still cleanse whatever little bit of residue is off of. Everything that you went through with, with this toxic bond, this toxic energy, this thing that you were still kind of holding on to, you have survived and overcome to the point where other people is looking at you like other people like how the hell she make it through you made it through beloved and because you have made it through you need to be in a space of being very grateful and thankful for all the things that have happened stop being in a space that you are not understanding that these things happen for you to be able to walk more powerful in your walk moving forward this is not a time frame for you to be in a space that you're looking at it like Damn, I don't know how, like, why I had to go through that? Why me? No, you went through it because it's preparing you. Now, what I need you to do is start to cut some people off. There's still some cleaning. Like, <laughs> I'm going to show you what card came up. There's still some clean house that needs to happen. There's still some separation and cut off and, you know, uh-uh. You ain't, you ain't walking with me. There's still the energy of Oya that's coming up. So, you got to be in a space that you are looking at who needs to leave, who needs to um, be nicely escorted <laughs> out of your life and what things that you need to really get rid of. It had to be outlaw. I'm like, they done extended my self-care. This is a time that you also, beloved, need to be taking care of yourself. You need to really make sure that any and everything that... Um, is in your life is in alignment with you and it is a reflection of your own self-care it's a reflection of what you need in your life and that's it oh yeah those are always the difficult ones them be the ones i got a situation like that y'all that i just be like i gotta pray real real hard sometimes because it's triggering it's, it's hate and I, I literally be having to pray real hard to not go left. Not, yeah. So those situations can be a little tricky when you have children by the toxic people. <laughs> you be like, your ass toxic as hell. The hell? How I get here? What was I thinking? All right. Seeking balance in your life. Have you been seeking balance in your life? Are you finding inner peace for your body, mind, and your soul? Take time to meditate and focus on the center of your consciousness, open to the realization that there is an underlying unity in all spiritual philosophies. All right. You also had the blue goldstone card come out. And it says, are you ready to be healthy, whole, and complete? Do you feel the healing vibration within you? You have the capacity to heal any challenge or sickness that appears within you and your surroundings. Set your intention to strive towards enlightenment. Be free from darkness and ignorance. Be free from his dark, ignorant ass. I'm just saying. It didn't say that, but that's how I felt. I felt that. <laughs> Be free from it. Set that intention. I'm going to tell you, Mandy, for real. 
Um, and I haven't did it recently with this situation. I did it before, but how I did transform when I was having a particular um, exchange with that toxic energy um, that was in my life, I actually took my journal and every day I would journal in that book what I wanted that relationship to be. So this person is a loving, caring father. They always, you know, provide for their child. Da, 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 da. Like so specific. Even though that that wasn't the shit that was happening, I kept writing nothing but positivity, love and light and compassion into my journal every day until eventually that relationship magically transformed into what it was that I had been writing. Now, I probably spoke where we're at now into fruition because I did have a moment where I just like blanked out because of one dynamic, but listen you can speak life into your situation you can transform whatever that relationship is but you have to know the power of who you are a lot of times women we do not recognize our own divine power and our own divinity you have the ability to cultivate and, and maneuver whatever situation into your um benefit but you got to actually believe that it works it wasn't even a month, Deshaun. It took maybe less than a month. I Literally 30 days later, like, he was coming to get his child on a regular basis. He went from, like, barely coming to get his child to, like, all of a sudden, and now you, you like, the active, you need to get the Father of the Year award. You calling your child on a regular basis, you texting. Like, it was a whole nother relationship. So, you got to be in a space that you're consistently putting the right energy. Once that dynamic changed, what I didn't do was continue to do the work. So that's another part. A lot of times we get lazy because now we've manifested whatever it is that we want. So it's like burning the candle that you, you know, are doing heart chakra work and you stop doing it or you stop doing the things that actually take care of this heart chakra. Okay. Well, damn it. When that shit start falling to pieces. <laughs> What you expect. You know, I always tell women, like, we get into that space and we eating good. We doing our yoga. We stretching and shit. And we alkalined out. And we, you know, manifesting our best life and stuff start going. And now we done got caught up in that vibration that everything is beautiful and everything is wonderful. That, oh, we done skipped a couple of meditation sessions. Oh, we done skipped the Samara little visualization that we was doing when everything was all jacked up in your life. <laughs> when everything was looking like it wasn't shit you was like going hard in the paint you coming to the ancestors you pouring libation you burning candles you you around the house saging and shit every moon no you was doing all of that and now that things have shifted into your favor you start getting lazy and lack exactly we get comfortable and now we sitting there like well damn you know, my money ain't flowing like it. It was just flowing not too long ago. Shoot, I wouldn't even have to think about it. Money just magically appear in my bank account. Now I'm sitting here wondering, like, where the money at? Did somebody stop the flow? No, your ass stopped the flow. You forgot to go pour that libation this morning. <laughs> you didn't say your damn 42 laws of my eye. Whatever it is that you're doing, you got out of your own routine. So you got to figure out how do I get back into the routine that I'm executing what it is that I need to be doing on a regular basis. No matter if my life is beautiful or if my life is shit, I still need to maintain what my practice is every day. That's why I say it's so important. And everybody who has taken any of my classes, one of the number one things is what is your ritual? What rising ritual or evening ritual are you creating for yourself? If you do not have that one core, if y'all don't take shit else from me, that's the one thing that you need to keep. No matter what, that part right there is a core piece of your whole life. It is going to help you keep grounded and stay centered no matter what it is that's going on in your life. I swear, I swear, I don't care what I could be feeling like dog shit. And I'm still going to wake up every morning, even if I can't make it to my altar per se, I'm still going to lay in that bed and do that meditation. 
I'm still going to do my visualization. I'm still going to show gratitude. Even if my body is feeling like um, a chewed up piece of bubble gum, I'm still going to be in that bed like, I thank y'all for this chewed up piece of bubble gum that I'm feeling like right now. But <laughs> I know that I can still get up and do what it is that I need to do for these kids. All right. Be in a space, beloved, that y'all are being very intentional um, on how you're setting the tone for your day. All right. How you are setting the tone for your life. It is the most important thing um, that you could ever do. It's the most important thing, despite what's going on. All right. And then even if the things, even if you feel like, as I like to say, dog shit or a chewed up piece of bubble gum, understand that that is a reflection of something. So now instead of just being focused on, I feel like chewed up piece of bubble gum, why am I feeling like a chewed up piece of bubble gum? What is this a reflection of? What do I need to resolve? All right. What do I need to resolve? Ashe? All right. So for whatever reason, this went over, but we thank him. Instagram for giving us some extra few minutes so I ain't have to come back. I love you. I will that y'all have an amazing, amazing evening. Please make sure that y'all tune in on the Healing Chamber. I am going to do a live chat, um, not only with um, Sister Asaya uh, from Free Your Mind to Shine, but I am also going to do a live chat with Dr. Um, Latham. Um, I'm super excited about um, building with both of them. I am always looking forward to sharing any type of knowledge that I can extend y'all way um, so it can make us all live an organic life. Um, so it can make us all live a lot more intentional in what it is that we're supposed to be doing um, and all that good stuff. All right. I love you. Peace.